put your hands together. Some say poets write to ward off death and preserve immortality, but that is not the significance of this poem for me. This poem knows that life goes on regardless of elections, and that people still need jobs, still starve, still catch hell for being black, or Muslim, or Hispanic. This poem believes that freedom and responsibility should be so close that it can't fake orgasms. This poem does not believe in democracy because it has yet to breathe in this country. And even though this poem may have lost its faith in government, it has never lost its faith in God or people. This this poem was born in the household of a riot and does not believe in the art of being quiet. This poem was born with wings in the nest of my chest and throat, and it soars out of my voice to wrap around your neglected bones like fog. This is for those whose skin is sick due to the AIDS virus, and for those that love love in all of its shapes and sizes. For those who work their fingers to the dust to give their children all they can. For the ex-con trying to find work but can't due to prior mistakes. For those that collect our trash and clean our rooms whose names we never bother to learn. For those who had to sacrifice their dreams in order to bring their reality to life. This poem is for white boys wanting to be black, thinking they can through hip-hop, smoking weed, and oversized t-shirts. <laughs> this poem is for those who think that terrorism has a face that does not look like yours. Wake up. This is for those whose friends and family show them for being responsible. Grow up. This poem is for the guy here who thinks that I kind of look like Morpheus. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, fuck you. <laughs> You see, this poem is for me, for long nights and these eyes that ache, for the brother that I almost lost last year to flames, and the sister who still busts my balls and calls me names. This is for the me and me I hope never dies, for the me that unfortunately sometimes gives birth to lies. This poem is for Chattanooga's cloudy black skies. This is for the poems inside of our blood, for the words that we just can't hide, for the black souls who had their lives stolen back when lynching was this country's favorite pastime. For everyone within the sound of my voice, this poem, this poem is for all of us, because your silence is a timeless enemy.